16 out of 16 and say I've completed this challenge and congratulations the world rejoices hi folks professor Machi wanted to get you through the free code camp product landing page now you are not gonna win any design awards for this I can guarantee you that all this was really meant to help you with is to get you your points quickly so you can get up and get on to the next project. You can go ahead and pretty this up uh, in any way that you would like uh, afterwards. So we're going to give you the freedom to do that. But if you are ready to get your points, let's get started. All right, let's get going with our free code camp project. This is building a product landing page. What we're going to have here is just 15 items on our punch list. And what we can do here is uh, build your project by using this code pen. And this will be just fine. Okay, so we'll uh, close that one off to the side, give ourselves a little bit of space over here. And make sure there, uh, when we have our test right here, make sure that product landing page is selected right here and we should be good. For something like this, uh, please read, um, yeah, let's not. Okay. For Emmet, let's just hit a bang and we're going to tab complete this. And we already have now our basic structure for our HTML. Uh, let's do title here. Okay, good. Product landing page. And then also, too, we're going to want to do this. Uh, we can use the CDN link here to run the tests in any environment. Uh, why don't we just copy this out here? And right after here, why don't we do script source, tab complete, paste that in. And I think we'll be good for that one. Okay, number one, my product landing page should have a header element with a corresponding ID header. Okay, that is going to be like this here. Right after the head there, let's go header, the ID, hashtag means ID, and we're going to name that header. See? And tab complete that, that goes ID header right there. And good, so we got some stuff to do in here. Uh, I can see an image within the header element with a corresponding ID, header image. A company logo would make a good image here. Okay, so within this here, why don't we do uh, H1s? We'll do um, cat posse. Sure, we'll do something like that. And then for cat posse, uh, here is the logo. Uh, available out there on the internet. Just look for Cat Posse logo. These folks are amazing. These folks are terrific, but we'll get through the project here first. Okay, so if we go to view file right here, why don't we grab this URL? We're going to come out here. Uh, we're going to do image uh, with the ID, header, image. Okay, tab complete that out. Uh, good. So then our source is going to be like this. Uh, paste in that source right there. Alt text is going to be that. ID is going to be that. And then, but we auto close there. Within the header element, that's right up here. I can see a nav element with a corresponding ID, nav bar. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be nav ID with nav bar. Tab complete. 
Okay, good. So then underneath this, we're going to need to see at least three clickable elements inside the nav element, each with the class nav link. We're going to do an anchor tag here with a class. A dot is a class, and we'll do nav link. Okay, and uh, we'll do that three times. Tab complete and good. So why don't we do portfolio? Okay, why don't we do uh, projects? And let's do an about me. Okay, so good. Uh, portfolio. Yeah, let's give it some text out there. Uh, projects. And then right out here, let's do about me. All right, good. So at least there's the three clickables that are down there. Okay, and then uh, when you click one of these, this is going to take you down to one of those sections over there. So good, why don't we do this? Underneath the body here, why don't we do a section? Okay, so underneath body here, let's do section. That's the ID. We'll call it project. Okay, and we're going to do this three times here. Excellent. So the first one is going to be the uh, portfolio. Second one is going to be projects because this is uh, what it's going to be linking to. And then we're going to do about me down here. Okay, good. I can watch an embedded product video with ID video. So why don't we do that under the about me section? So under, under here, the about me, uh, I'm just going to take one of my YouTube videos that are right, right out here. You can choose anything you like. Um, but if you do uh, jump out to Professor Hamachi on YouTube, uh, just go ahead and uh, choose one of my videos <laughs> just for fun. Okay, uh, we can create an iframe here. Okay, so within the iframe, the source is going to be this. Right, it's that video that we just did. Oh yeah, we are going to need an ID in here as well. So that ID is going to be video. Okay, so if you really want to make this uh, all nice and readable, then we can do this as well. Okay, so there's our iframe right there. My landing page here also has a form. So why don't we do that in the footer section? Okay, so after body over here, let's create a footer. Okay, open that up. And then we already know that we're going to need a form here with the ID called form. Okay, and the action is going to be this. When I click the submit element, the email is submitted to a static page and use this mock URL. Uh, so yeah, let's just copy that out. Just copy that link address. That's under number 12 there. Uh, action will be that. Okay, if you really want to make it look nice, then okay. Go ahead and do this too. Okay, and we're going to be dropping in some other things uh, under the form here. Okay, so we need one input that's under here too. So we got one action. Let's do an input here. We'll call the ID text. Okay, uh, input type is going to be text. Yep, ID is text right there. 
Let's give it a name. Text. We'll do a placeholder here too. Do you have a question? And we'll make it required too. That's one of them. Okay, put in a break there. How about we drop in another one? This one's gonna be the email input. So let's do input over here. ID is gonna be email. Okay, type is gonna be email. So that's ID, that's type. Let's give it a name. Yeah, email's fine. Uh, some sort of validation text. Placeholder is fine. Um, what is your email? And we'll make it required. Hopefully that should fulfill the uh, validation section that's right there. Last part, we need a submit button. So input, uh, the ID is gonna be submit. Okay, so the type there is also submit. Okay, let's make this look a little bit nicer. Okay, value, give it a value there. Um, I don't know, ask now. And then uh, give it a class, uh, submit. That should be okay there too. Okay, product landing page, run our test. We got 13 of 16, so I think we have a little bit more left to go here. Um, number 13, the nav bar should always be at the top of the viewport. Um, no problem, we could do that with CSS, so we can do it this way. Uh, we can do header, okay, and then position. We'll do top, zero pixels, uh, width, 100% uh, height. Let's do 20 pixels. Padding, 25 pixel, maybe zero pixel there. Uh, display, let's go flex. Uh, justify content. Space between. Align items, let's go center. Center there and then uh, Hey, how about we do the background color? Sure, we'll go black there and then opacity. 80%. Okay, and the last thing I think we're going to need is a media query. Max width. Let's go 500 pixels there. Open this up. Body. We'll do a flex wrap. Mm, flex wrap, wrap. Okay, and I think that should do it. Sixteen out of sixteen. Yeah, you're not gonna win any design awards out of this one again, but uh, this will at least give you your points here. For your project here so if you do the solution link there go ahead and paste that in and say I've completed this challenge and congratulations the world rejoices you may now move on to the next all right that's gonna do it Hopefully you had as much fun putting this together as I did um, I found out oh my gosh CodePen does Emmet, so <laughs> that'll make easy work for you, okay? So be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next.